this season on American MC. It's the ride of a lifetime. A journey of commitment. Hey, it ain't where a man lives. lives. It's what he does when he leaves the house. Oh! 17 men come together from all walks of life. Love you guys. Bye, Dad. I told you, you about you it two you months said you ago. Going. You said you it's, this is not the love ride, OK? To see who has the passion, the dedication, the endurance to become a true motorcycle club, a real MC. Absolutely. I would like to see this group of guys become an MC. It's fast. It's dangerous. We're at a spot for the emergency vehicle in there. It's life and death in the fast lane. Don't move, Mike. Don't move. Nothing we can't fix. Discover the ultimate meaning of trust, riding full throttle. When we're riding tight and fast in a pack, You've got to stay totally focused on the guy in front of you. Your life is depending on his movements, his braking, his turning. Witness the real taste of the road. We start going! Get the fuck out of here! Are you said? Get fuck back! Go! Get out! Ruin it, everybody! Make it keep going, right? Move up! Move up! My face is in here! Do I still have teeth? Loyalties and friendships put to the test. If I don't feel like riding 85 miles an hour, I'm not gonna. Well, then you're breaking down the group dynamics, so you shouldn't be with this group. It's your choice. If you want to go over it, he's forcing you to go over. You're a victim. Some will stay, and some will go. It's reality. It's a members-only club with some unexpected guests along the way. This is Brian Howe with Bad Company. Come up and join us, boys. We will. Let's fucking rock. I was born. I didn't know I was going to run into you. Could you, could you ride with us? I'm throwing my final backs away. The phone's going to the garbage. I'm with you. Ben, 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 Ben. Oh no! It's all about the weapon. Hey, is everybody else cool? Are you gonna start pulling us over one at a time as we go up the road? It's a wild ride with close calls. I watch you guys from behind, and I tell you what, you guys are a complete mess. I'd like to see where you guys are a month from now. See how many of you guys are still alive. <laughs> they start with only one rule. There are no rules. Plus, witness what happens when they meet up with the most notorious club in the world. The shocking discovery of the unwritten rules of the road. Uh, I think you want to talk to my president here. Uh... Tommy, Tommy. I don't want to get our asses kicked here. Cracking the code of honor, brotherhood, and respect. Don't be so tight. You'll be all right. No, that'd be, no, that'd be too big. It's sucked in the head. Hey, let's relax. Along the way, symbols are revealed. An unspoken language. Some say they represent sacrifice, rebellion, life, and death. Discover the importance of their colors, their patch. I'm choosing the patch over these guys and over the friendship. Bottom line, absolutely. The stakes are high. The danger is real. A full throttle adventure. American MC. Fucking clown! <laughs> and if you can't bounce and roll, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? How often does that come up where you get a chance to go riding with Hell's Angels? I mean, it's gonna be cool. All you had to tell him was, here's the exit. <laughs> Best. We're going to ride wherever we want to ride. We don't have any rules. That's what makes us unique. No! No! I'm trying to get you to do something. Now just no, shut no. up.
hitting it fast and pushing myself to an extreme. I'd love to die on the motorcycle. I've been fortunate enough to meet 16 guys in three different states. Most of these guys have never met. They don't know how each other rides. So I have put to them, let's all go to Arizona. Let's go for Arizona bike route. It could be dangerous. Oh, you said you saw him go down, man. Why don't you stop? It will be exciting, and let's ride. These guys are going to find out who they really are and in a competitive mode because that's what a bike club is. The best will rise to the top. The others will fall away. That's, that's not where I am going. But maybe some of us will end up becoming an ultimate biker club. Starting off with 17 guys, the plan is to meet up somewhere in the Arizona desert. I'm out on my own, riding hundreds of miles in the opposite direction to get this rally started. The first stop for me is going to be Oakland to pack up with one of my true biker bros, Big Tom. What's up, bro? Hey, dude, good evening. <laughs> Welcome to my world. I've been riding motorcycles for 35 years, and the only reason I'm here yeah, is because yeah, Tommy well, Baker so asked I'll me to come to just start a motorcycle club, a real MC, and we all just have to get together about what it is we have to do to get it. Come on in, man. <laughs> Finally, I see the palace. A couple crops and a motorcycle later. <laughs> this kid. <laughs> yeah, well, this it was a major awesome, day off. Dude. Way more than I expected. This is the ultimate biker cave. I like to ride. It's freedom. You get out, clear your head. You just cruise. Baker calls and says, come on, let's ride with a bunch of guys, most of which I've never met. Do I feel comfortable riding with people I don't know? Not usually. You don't know what they're going to do. You don't know how they're going to ride. You don't know how they ride or if they can ride. I work really hard during the week. The one time that I get to shut it all off is when I'm on my bike. Hi, honey. Sweetheart. You're home. What are you doing? Well, uh, getting ready for a ride. OK, but you told me you weren't going. Well, Baker called. Why do you just, if somebody calls at the last second and you'll just take off, I don't understand. You know how important these rides are for me. We I'm talked sure. about this. No, we didn't talk I about it. I told you, you about it two you months ago. You said you weren't going. You said you weren't going. I remember the conversation perfectly. It's, this is not the love ride, OK? If I'm going to be riding in the middle of a pack with 16 other guys that I'm not familiar with, you know, it's going to be dangerous. Who knows what's going to happen? That's some of my stuff that's from my last campaign. Well, you know, I have a personal life, I have a political life, a business life, and I have a biker life. One thing is about riding with other guys, it's a challenge. And I'm always up to that because it pushes me to be a better rider. Well, give me a kiss goodbye. Later. I love you. I'm enthused about this ride because there's a bunch of guys that I've never ridden with. It's uh, an adventure. Kevin, who I've known for quite a few years, so I'm comfortable riding with him. As far as all these other guys, I really don't know how it's going to shake out, but we shall see. I just put the air cleaner back on. I had a little issue, but yeah, let's uh, let's Whoa. take. Let's take looks real good. Looks real nice, but well, we'll see what it looks like when we get to Yuma. <laughs> <laughs> and then I think we're going to go to the bike bike week in Arizona. Yeah, I think that's what the plan was. Okay. Only four of us, and we're an hour late already. I can't even imagine what it's going to be like when there's 17 of us. Can anybody ride these ridges? I got 50,000 on this 54 pan head, and anybody can ride one that far and uh, still have some kidneys left. I like to think of myself as being pretty tough. I am pretty comfortable riding with my guys. 
But uh, Baker, he just gets a little weird sometimes. It actually gets dangerous. So I don't know how this is all going to work with uh, as many guys we got together that don't know each other. And it'll be interesting to see what happens. I've known Baker for pushing up on 10 years. It's not uncommon for Tommy to call me at 10 o'clock at night and say, hey, let's go to San Diego, or hey, let's go to Vegas. And uh, we land there by the time the sun comes up. I originally met the rest of the group here at uh, Arizona Bike Week seven years ago. You just got married. It's like, you know. That's right. He should be wanting to get away by now. <laughs> it ain't been long enough yet. <laughs> I mean, it's about time, Rick. <laughs> Yeah. Bye, baby. I love Bye. you very much. I love you. It's obvious why Rick has a pretty young wife. Be careful. You guys ready? She wants to own the Harley dealership here in town. Right. Billet Bar. Baker rides to Oakland in the middle of the night to kickstart a motorcycle club. First stop is with Big Tom. The plan is to ride overnight to L.A. to pick up Brian, but Brian's wife throws another wrench into the plan. Yeah, Honey, we oh, talked sure. about this. No, we didn't talk I about it. I told you, you about it two months ago. You said you weren't going. You said you weren't going. I remember the conversation perfectly. This, this is not the love ride, okay? But Big Tom and Baker ride through the night and hook up with Brian. Sun up. Sun up. Uh, sunrise. Seven. Sun up. The goal is to meet up with four more riders from San Diego, three from Vegas, and eight from Arizona. I'm pretty late. I don't want to incur Baker's wrap. Let's saddle up and get out. But less than an hour from San Diego, Bud's 54 panhead breaks down. But the flange just actually broke off the cylinder head. Plus, witness what happens when they meet up with the most notorious club in the world. The Hells Angels. They ride freaking fast. Those guys are great. Most of them hate me already because I gotta push them. That's what I do. And maybe right to the brink of advancing how they're riding. And that's what a motorcycle club is about. It's your decision, your level of commitment that you're willing to stay the course or go home. So we'll see. And now they find themselves smack dab in the middle of a biker bar that just happens to be a favorite of the Hell's Angels. I oh, don't know. No, that Victor Wiggins sucked in the head. Hey, let's relax. Don't be so tight. You'll be all right. In this situation, most sane people would step back, lay low, be cool. But not Baker. He has an idea. Maybe at some point we should have Moody say hello because you're our prospect. My name, my name is Moody. Really? Moody plus the Hells Angels? Watch what happens. They ride freaking fast. But this road that we're going down is fucking gnarly. Baker and his crew have a chance to ride with the most notorious motorcycle club in the world, the Hells Angels. They ride tight with these guys. You gotta ride hard with these guys like a laugh in your fucking face. Uh, I think you wanna talk to my president here. No, I don't wanna get our asses kicked here. How do Baker and his riders react? Find out next time on American MC.